What's up guys? Just thought I'd do a quick tool review since the video I was planning on making, I gotta figure something out. Anyways, when I was looking around at my tools and thinking, what could I review, it occurred to me, I got an oldie but a goodie. The handy cutter. Well, handy cut. I call it cutter, but handy cut. <laughs> Anyways, I'll clear a spot off. I'll run up to the garage here real quick and we'll cut some stuff. Okay, I got some stuff for us to cut, but before we get started, I've had this tool for about mm, probably over 20 years. I can't remember if I bought it myself or if I was giving it like to as a, a Christmas gift or something. But as it goes for you know gimmicky type tools, this is my most favorite, most useful one. I mean, it's you know obviously 20 years later I still have it, I still use it. Yeah, I think this is this is the second blade that came with it. So I, mean, I haven't even bought new blades for it yet. It's because I don't use it a ton, but when when I use it, it's handy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, so I mean, you can get blades for it, and I, I did check. It is still available, you know, online. It's a craftsman tool, and I say that because you know I, I don't know the sears around me is gone. They're gone. You gotta get you know craftsman at like you know Ace Lowe's or other weird places, and it isn't what it used to be. So you know who knows if this will be around for too much longer. Maybe they'll rebrand it and keep it. I don't know. This is what I got. This is what I know. <laughs> now, they do have, uh, the newer version has like a, a blade storage thing on it, like around here. It looked like on the handle. And they have a shorter version. It's like, you know, like that much or so. I, I only got this one. Maybe I'll venture out by the, the, the new, new style, whatever. You know, I at least got to buy some blades here soon. Anyways... What I want to say about the blades, I mean, it's not it's not an issue anymore because they store them here. Is you always want to make sure your story blade's good because long ago, because this one doesn't have the thing, I was reaching in my toolbox and I sliced three of my fingers really good. I mean, like half inch deep, just stuck them right into the blade, and wow, that hurt. So, any blades you want to keep them in a good spot. I learned from that that mistake. I have a, like a little plastic tote. I wrote on sharps and I keep all my spare blades for everything in there. So, just a quick tip. Well, let's try this sucker out. I got some rope here. Now, you can see that it doesn't really cut all the way through, but it cuts good enough. I mean, small stuff, the stringy stuff, you're gonna have to, you know, munch on it a few times. <laughs> good enough. You can probably get the rest of some scissors or whatever, or just, yeah, you just pull on it and stuff. Another thing before I forget is, you might be able to see where I've heated up and like made it so the blade can recess in there a little bit to try and make it cut a little better. It's, it works. It used to work, I think, good. This blade is, is, you know, 20 years old. So, I mean, <laughs> it's not the best blade. I also like how it has the locking position because you definitely don't want to cut your, your fingers on the sucker. Uh, what else? No. I tried to find some radiator hose because I've cut radiator hose with this thing many times. I like it for radiator hose. It doesn't open up that wide, so getting the radiator hose in it, you have to smush it down just like this, this foam padding. I will smush it down, and right there. You know, of course, the worst end, but a semi-decent cut. Better than trying to you know, you know, chop on and something like that. I I feel you have a better chance of getting a cleaner cut. If I would have lined it up better, I would have got a better cut. Anyways. I got some plastic tube, I mean, mild plastic, usually does okay. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me. It's over there. So, not bad, I mean, light plastic. Primarily what I use it for is like, you know, stuff like fuel line. If I get the handle out of the way. Um, you know, heater hose, bigger hoses. Gives you nice clean cuts most of the time. And sometimes you can get away with this stuff, this corrugated stuff that's, you know, in all cars. But sometimes, 
Back out good. <laughs> it's under there now. It's there forever. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, and of course, if you're lazy like me, you're just you know, doing a hack and slash and pulling an engine. Belts. Of course, nothing with like a steel you know, core wire or anything like that. I've had, that's how my, my old original first blade got messed up. I had you know, friends over and they go to cut some wires and chomp, chomp, chomp. It's not cutting. It's not a wire cutter. It's just a freaking razor. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. If you use it for what it's supposed to be, it can be handy. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, like I said, it, it's a gimmick type tool. I've had it for over 20 years. I like it. I'll continue to use it. I'll buy some more blades. Maybe I'll get the shorter version. I like it because you can, you know, you can stick it in somewhere deep and get in there and chop it off. No problem. Um... Yeah, I think that's all I got to cut. Um, anyways, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you got one of these? Let me know. Um, I don't plan on doing a ton of tool reviews. I just, you know, especially not, you know, like ordinary type tools. Just, you know, I thought this was kind of cool. And, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, you have these. And they, I've seen the other kind of shorter type um, hose cutters. And they don't really work for larger hoses. With this, like I said, if you got a large hose, like a, a heater hose you just kind of smash it down slide it in there sorry like a radiator hose you just smash it down slide it in there and chop it off you know i use it for hoses primarily you know other stuff but thanks for watching peace out this product is not intended for cutting off hands please use only as directed